Hi, my name is Sandy, and you're watching Saturday on the Y Rebels. This week, we're going on a bookshelf tour. So on a normal vlogging day, you usually see this floor, this floor, and a little bit of that floor of my bookshelf. There are actually six floors in total. And let's start off with the very, very top. Fun fact, the tall blue end on the left end, I didn't actually win. My mom stole that for me. And then the two shelves below that are full of graphic novels because I would read a lot of graphic novels in middle school. I don't know if any of you guys have seen my stop motion videos, but here's the Harry Potter trio from this town. Books that I read during elementary school. Stuff like Jenny B. Jones and Mary Kate and Ashley. Over here are just the books that I've had to use throughout high school. Various AP prep stuff, dictionaries, um, novels that I have to read during high school. Then down below that I've got a bunch of DVDs, some other stuff that wouldn't fit down there, my CDs. And then we reach the bottom floors which you are all very familiar with. Not really sure how I'm going to do this tour now that I've organized my books by color. So right here is the red section. And yeah. I love the Demon's Lexicon by Sarah Rees Brennan over here. And the Scorpio Races because Maggie Steve Potter is always a good choice. Here's some more stuff. Yeah. Graceling is also one of my classic favorites. I really like the Need series, although I haven't really talked about it much. It's about killer fairies or killer pixies, which is awesome. Then we move away from orange into the yellow section. Um, I haven't read Before I Fall yet. I'm hoping to get to it soon. Then over here in the greens, you have one of my very rare adult books. I don't read very many adult books, but The Time Traveler's Life was pretty good. I've yet to read Chime even though it's been sitting here for a while. Harry Potter, of course. A lot of the covers are green, apparently. I'm sorry for the lack of structure in this bookshelf tour, but if you've seen the one on my personal channel, it's a bit more organized. My handy dandy shot glasses. Then we move to the very bottom floor. The Last Saint by Brie de Spain I really liked. Uh, I haven't read the third book yet, this is the second one. And then here are the bluish purplish books. You know, there actually aren't that many books with purple covers. I wonder why. Hourglass I've had for like a year now and I haven't read, which makes me feel really lame because the sequel is already out. White colored books. Nightly Academy written, written by author and vlogger Robin Schneider was very entertaining, very funny, very quirky, and a bit reminiscent of Harry Potter. As if you need more proof that I am a child. I'm a bit of a pack rat and I keep everything, so that's why I have so many knickknacks on this shelf. Next week we're doing a subscriber Q&A, so please leave me questions in the down bar or else I will be very sad. Not being a published author or directly related in the publishing world at all, I know maybe you don't want to ask me writing questions, although I am happy to answer writing questions. Feel free to ask me questions about college and life in general because those are some things that I know stuff about, kind of.